Hi guys, it's Becca and welcome back to the carriage house or welcome if you are new here. Today is going to be a fun little autumn time video. I have a spice haul that I'm going to be sharing with you. We, um, every year or twice a year, we go to our local Amish community and stock up on spices, bulk spices, oatmeal, sugars, and things like that. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys um, the things that we get to stock up for the fall and winter. And at the end, I thought it'd be nice to take you guys along with me. I'm going to light some candles, uh, brew maybe a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and put all the spices away. I'll probably be, you know, put some nice relaxing music. I'll make sure my younger ones are taking their naps. So if you want to follow along with me afterwards, then I'd, I'd love you guys to, to do that. So the first thing we got are these sliced almonds and these were only $1.49 a pound. Um, leaving it to be $10.37 for this whole bag of almonds. So $10 practically for this whole thing. And you guys know how expensive, or most of you do know how expensive nuts can get. So I encourage you to, if you do have a local Amish community, I say local for us. We end up driving about 45 minutes to get to this place, but it's definitely worth it and it helps support their community because they definitely don't take um, take advantage of, of things. It's priced, I wouldn't say it's pr underpriced, it's pr actually priced the way it should be because honestly I feel like things are just way overpriced these days. Um, but so, so yeah, only ten, practically ten, $10 for um, about uh, uh, one and a half pounds of nuts. So, so we got that, so I'm looking forward to baking. Some caramel apple chips, so about $2.74 for these. It's kind of a little different, but I'm thinking they're it's sweetened maybe. Yeah, it's got sugar in there. So caramel apple chips, I guess you could put them, I mean, you can include these in some, uh, in some baking maybe. Um, I don't know, you guys let me know. You could put them in some tea. You can kind of maybe put them in a piece of tea or just snack on. You know, you could do a, um, I guess I could do like a, a trail fall trail mix and maybe put this in with some almonds and I don't know <laughs> so we got some clothes to some whole clothes now this I'm going to be primarily using in our little simmer pot on the stove which um, for you for those who don't know I, I love using simmer pots on the stove this time of year um, I put whole cloves and cinnamon, it just smells amazing. You can always put, put um, like sliced orange peel or fresh rosemary sprigs and things like that. Right. And then we got some powdered sugar. Got a big thing of powdered sugar for those Christmas cookies this year. So I wanted to stock up on that. And then we got some pepitas, raw pepitas, pumpkin seeds. So for this time of year, especially for the fall, we may just kind of snack on, or this might go good with the trail mix. Trail mixes and things they add, they tend to add a lot more oil and salt and things like that. So just kind of, you know, taking the time out to make your own can be very beneficial to your wallet and to your health. I know it takes a little bit more time, but it's kind of fun to do. You know, if you just put some music on and maybe light a candle or something, and if you have kids, get them involved or just do it on your own. So, okay, so we've got some parsley flakes. Okay, $2.50 for this whole thing. And so I've got some cumin, about half a pound for $2.34. Great for chili, Mexican food, all those kinds of things. Uh, oh, another thing of powdered sugar. So I've got two things of powdered sugar. And then <laughs> I got some shredded coconut. This was about two pounds, two and a half pounds for six dollars and thirty-four cents, which is pretty good. So a lot of times we like to make macaroons or um, what do we like to make in the fall using shredded coconut. I forget, but we I, t I was drawn to buying it. All right, the next thing I have we got is uh, some Dutch cocoa powder. So about a pound and a half for four dollars. Great deal. Some more pepitas here. I think I got two of everything. And then I did, oh, and then I did get a lot of stuff for the giveaway. So if you haven't entered that, um, actually, 
actually, by the time you guys watch this video, the video or the giveaway will probably be over. I don't know, but I'll try to do the, this again in the Christmas video. Some dried tart cherries, almost almost a pound, not quite, but for six dollars. This is it's kind of expensive, but dried fruits in general, like cherries and all that stuff, tend to be expensive anyway. And then some more coconuts. Yeah, yeah, some more coconuts. <laughs> Two of everything, I think. I didn't organize this before I started making the video. Okay, some onion flakes. This is always good to keep around in the kitchen. So almost a pound, and um, this is for, for about $3.80. So, you know, this is like this is way much, way much cheaper at, at going, into, going to these local markets, Amish communities, and, and purchasing these types of things. Okay, I did get some mint chocolate chips for my daughter. She loves mint and chocolate mixed together. So we saw these and I decided to buy them. So for fall or for Christmas, we'll, we'll do some baking, but a pound for $3.84. And then we got these uh, sanding sugars. We got some more, oh, I got some more baking type of stuff. Um, for, uh, I thought this looked kind of fall, like a fall time color, sanding sugar for making cookies or something like that. So I'm getting really, really excited about fall and Christmas time. Okay, so next are these raisins, which is about eight and a half pounds, <laughs> but they store really well if you keep them in a closed, uh, a tight container. This was $16, but considering the amount, they, you know, are not too bad, too big of a deal. So. Raisins with oatmeal in the mornings, a warm cup of, or a warm bowl of oatmeal with uh, you know, some cinnamon and sugar. There's some brown sugar is always it's always nice to wake up in the morning too. Okay, some apple pie spice. So about two dollars for this, not too bad. Seasoning salt, salt that has seasonings in it. When you're kind of in a pinch and making dinner at night and you just want something to season with, season with you know, without using all these different spices. Um, about almost two and a half pounds for $6.37. Yeah, just a minute. Some allspice, whole allspice for those. Um, uh, I'll use these for the simmer pots. And some whole cinnamon sticks. This is great. You guys let me know too what you love to use in the autumn time as far as spices and things that you love to buy for your home and to keep, you know, to keep in your home to help it, you know, whether you're, you're wanting it to smell good like a, as a simmer pot or if you're wanting to do some baking, I'd love to hear what you guys love to do. Okay, so a pound of chili powder for $5.64. It's great for this time of year to make chili. And then we've got some more nuts. This was really expensive, but again, nuts are so expensive anyways. Uh, two and a half pounds for almost $20. So this one's kind of expensive, So, but I do make, I end up making a lot of uh, Christmas type of cookies and things with pecans, and then fall too. So I definitely wanted to have these around. You can also freeze nuts so they don't go rancid. Um, after a short while, that's what I tend to do. I, I, you know, try to use fresh when I can, but I don't just leave them in a pantry for too long because they will go rancid. But if you put them in, a, if you store them in a freezer, in a proper bag or, or whatever, then they'll they'll last better that way. Okay. So next is lentil beans or lentil lentils, dry lentils. I love to make lentil soup this time of year. Also, if you're into Mediterranean cooking or Middle Eastern cooking, this is great to, to have around uh, about two and a half pounds for $3.67, which I know you guys probably don't care about the, the pricing and things, so I'll, I'll stop saying the price. <laughs> All right, so we've got a huge thing of brown sugar. Okay, so no, really, I am gonna share the poundage and pricing on this one because this is really good. Um, so 11, 11 pounds for only $8.24. So that's a, a really good deal. So brown sugar is good this time of year. And next we've got a big thing of practically about four bags of oatmeal. Now one, one of the things, one of the major things too I love about these 
markets is um, they've got gluten-free, they have gluten-free oatmeal for pretty cheap. I mean, this is about four and a half pounds for only $4.80. So our daughter does have celiac, she has celiac disease, so she cannot consume gluten. And it's very hard to, um, I mean, it's not very hard. You can find all that in grocery stores now these days, but it's very expensive. And if usually you, you buy like a, a small amount. So it's, these markets are really important for our family because not only do we um, can get a big quantity of gluten-free oatmeal, which oats are naturally gluten-free, but with the cross-contamination when they harvest oats with wheat and everything, that's when it becomes a problem. So. Uh, so it's really important that we're able to buy large quantity amounts of things like oatmeal for a really low price. So that's, that's really good for, for those two who are, may have gluten sensitivity or even like uh, like us, my daughter, who have celiac disease. So we, I went crazy with the oatmeal, so I bought four, four big, <laughs> big bags. Okay, so we've got some... Turbinado sugar, which again, it's this is pretty. This is pretty good. It's about you know ten pounds for almost. It's about a dollar per pound. So, all right. So I've got my little baby Bohannon here. He's almost a year. So and he's walking. He just started walking. So my husband's cutting up wood outside right now because we had that uh, that storm a while back. So we had a lot of a lot of damage, but we have been using the wood to cut into logs and we've been putting it out by the even when we don't have a real fireplace but just using you know we're able to to make logs and store that all that for like if we camp out here we, we like to camp out in our backyard <laughs> so one thing I loved about that Amish market that they have they have all these different varieties of teas so they have this um, they've always had this ever since that we my my family and I've been going there for which has been several years but this flu tea if you're just kind of you know down with a, a cold and cough and that kind of <laughs> not feeling too well you can make yourself a cup of flu tea and it, all this is just so cheap um, and then we've got oh, all right so we got some oregano here to make with my chili and things like that some thyme. Now I do have, we do have some fresh thyme growing outside right now. And I probably should take the time to to harvest that and dry that. And I, I need to do to do that. It's just been you know crazy busy lately. So okay, so Italian seasoning here. And this all that this whole thing was only a dollar and sixteen cents. So definitely, I really encourage you to check out these local Amish communities if you if you're lucky enough to live. We'll live, by, we'll live by one. Okay, taco seasonings. Oh, and this one has no MSG, so that's good. So let's keep that around. More oregano. And then we have some granulated garlic, which is more than half a pound. Not quite a pound, but $4.78. Not too bad. Okay, chives. And then we've got some paprika. So all kinds of spices. I love to cook. You know, for some reason, as long as the kids are taken care of, you know, I try to keep them engaged before I start cooking for dinner and everything. Or my husband helps. He's a tremendous help. Um, because cooking can be a very just, I know it sounds crazy, but it's just calming, uh, a calming thing that you can really engage yourself in and not only that but it it helps your family or yourself it helps you know nourish your your body their bodies with good food and things like that but the entire cooking process you can just really you know immerse yourself in too and it, it becomes um, I don't know becomes just a, a good thing to do <laughs> turmeric I've got some of that I really love Indian cooking Whenever I can uh, can make uh, make time for Indian cooking, I, I love using that. And then some ground ginger, and then thyme leaves, thyme, more thyme, and then garlic, more granulated garlic again. I wish you could smell all these spices. I'm not even opening 
the tops of these things and you can just, it's just perfumes the air. It's just amazing, the, the spices, the combination of everything. You would think it, all the combination of all these different spices would be kind of like overwhelming, but it just smells, it smells really good. So cinnamon, ground cinnamon for oatmeal or whatever you like to make it, make things with. So more cumin and a more Italian seasoning. All right, so if you're in the mood to hang out with me while I put the spices away, again, I'm gonna be turning on some peaceful music. I may light a candle or brew a cup of tea or even pour a glass of wine. It's kind of getting late in the day, at least where I am right now. Um, so if you're interested in that, get cozy and we'll put away the spices together.